Good morning and uh, welcome to our daily devotion insight again this morning. I have a text and I just want to uh, first of all read you the text and it says in Psalm 46 verse uh, 1 it says God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear though the earth should change and though its mountains slip into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains quake at its swelling place. Psalm 46, verse 1 to 3. And uh, my title this morning is Straight Thinking. Uh, straight Thinking. You know, sometimes when, uh, just as this verse or these verses were talking about, um, you know, the, there's trouble, there's fear, the earth actually uh, is changing, mountains are slipping into the heart of the sea, and the waters are roaring and foaming, and the mountains quake, and, uh, you know, that and it's just trouble, you know, it's just like uh, the, there's so much of just uh, chaos, you know. So have you ever felt the ground move under your feet? Have you ever felt the ground move under your feet? Do you know what it's like to pitch from side to side, you know, in a small boat on strong seas? I mean, you're just tossed here and there, you know, in a boat, uh, in a stormy sea, you know, and uh, the water is coming in and uh, you, you, you don't know life whether you're going to live or you're going to die. Have you ever had to run to, for cover? You know, you felt that, you know, maybe uh, there's this just, uh, uh, there's chaos, you know, and uh, maybe uh, there's just, people are just having uh, uh, maybe a riot or or maybe, you know, you have to, you know, there were, there's advancing troops or whatever, you know, that you feel that you are just uh, shaken, you know, shaken to the core. You know, some people around the world could answer, maybe yes, they say yes. And uh, most of us sometimes can only imagine some of these scenes. We might have just watched it on the TV screen or, you know, in the news, uh, or maybe we have not personally experienced it. But still, every one of us sooner or later uh, will face the reality of feeling as if our life is spinning out of control. Uh, spinning out of control. And uh, that may sometimes describe us uh, maybe this week, maybe this season in our lives. And sometimes fear can actually cause us to be, you know, just paralyze us and to a point of just helplessness. We, are, we just feel helpless. So if you're not careful, we will spend our days just trying to figure out what's going to happen, what's going to, wringing our hands, you know, just going to thinking, what's obsessed with the encroaching circumstances. You know, I'm, I don't know how I'm going to get out of this. I don't know what's going to happen next. And then that will cause you and I to focus on what might happen instead of what God has promised. What might happen instead of what God has promised. So as we uh, as you have time, you look into the story in the book of Acts, uh, chapter 23, and then the story is actually a recount of, uh, you know, how Paul actually was, uh, you know, he was, um, well, he was in Rome and he's going to go to, uh, going, going to uh, be in prison. He was in prison, in fact, and so there was people that was coming against him. Uh, and, uh, and so his life was like very uncertain, don't know what's going to happen. You know, but then it says here that, uh, well, there, were, there was a plot, in fact, a plot to kill him. And you look into the story and then the, a plot to kill him. But God intervened because there was his nephew who came and told, you know, the, the Sanhedrin or the, or the uh, he was telling that, you know, the Sanhedrin are actually trying to plot to kill Paul. And so he went to the centurion and he told the centurion that, you know, that's going to happen. And uh, so the commander took note of what Paul's uh, nephew was telling him, you know. And eventually, the commander dismissed the young man and uh, told him, you know, you don't tell anybody, but this is what I know. So what happens is that there was a plot to kill Paul. There was a plot to make his day the worst kind of days. There was a plot to destroy him. There was a plot to annihilate his life. But here, we understood that not Paul. He understood something about the sovereignty of God. God is sovereign. Huh? No matter what seasons you go through, God is sovereign. And that clear understanding allowed him to think straight. 
He could think straight because why? Because he believed in the sovereign God. You know, when you, when you think straight, you are able to uh, at least, uh, you know, get your, get your equilibrium and you're able to get your standing firm in God and his promises because Paul knows that God is on his side. Paul knows that God is sovereign. So here, that kind of straight thinking will calm us down. Huh? The, the calmness that is rooted in the promises of God. That's why the, uh, in just now we read Psalm 46 says, God is my refuge and my strength, a very present help in time of trouble. So don't worry, whatever times that you're going through, He's there. Like Paul, we need to learn to think straight. Huh? Even if the foundation of the earth shift beneath our feet, that takes a heart willing to trust God's word, submit to his plan and deliberately and consciously relax. Huh? Because why? Because he was able to know, God is able to know that whatever the circumstances, God is in control. In fact, if you go back and you read the story, God was able to stir up 472 earthly bodyguards to get Paul from Jerusalem to Caesarea safely and securely, he will have no trouble, you know, getting you from where you are to where he wants you to be safely and securely. So, because why? Because when we learn to set our hearts on God, think straight about all that is happening, and you will see that God will be the one who will lead us through, and we do not need to worry, we do not need to fear, because he's a sovereign God. Amen. So this morning, may you be encouraged to know that we serve a great God. We have a sovereign God. We need not worry. Whatever comes on us, God is on our side because God is our refuge and our strength. Amen. God bless you.